Welcome to Christons on Extension Services and at Crit Farm Nigeria. Today we are bringing you into farm setup in the aspect of poultry farm. But before then, you should, in case you are coming into our YouTube channel for the first time, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the top, uh, the notification button to be notified each time we upload a new video. Today we are bringing you up to a farm setup. But before then, we are into poultry farm setup, fishery farm setup, pigry farm setup. We are into shipment of agro products to different parts of the world using snail as a basis to test snail, fresh, dry, or any type of uh, snail you want. That is what we sell. On the aspect of construction, we construct poultry houses. Piggery houses, uh, fishy pond, fish pond, or tapolin pond are different types of things that we do. But today we are bringing you into pit, uh, uh, pit construction for people that are into poultry farming. Sometimes when they are finished breeding the poultry, they have challenges in the pit construction. But before you construct the pit, there are some things you need to put into consideration. First of all, what is the size of cage you are doing? What is the my type of manure strip I want to use? If you are using a cage of 96, the peak distance from one place to another should be 1.8 meters. But if you are using 120 capacity, you are using 128 capacity, you are using 160 capacity, the peak dimension should be 2.2 meter or 2 meter. That is to say from this place to this place should be 2 meters. But if you are using 96 vest capacity from here to here, it should be 1.8. Dimension is for 120 or 128 per unit. So that is why from this place now to this place now is 2.1 meters. You can use 2.2 meters, you can use 2.1 meters, you can use 2 meters as long as it is the minimum of 2 meters so that the cage leg can stand here, the other one can stand there. Then you now put in your cage straight. So this is the periphery side. Then this video specifically, I'm doing for a client in a different location has finished roofing his building and I want to show him how to do the pit. Then before now you know about I've showed you that before you do your pit you do the walkway like this is casting now. This place has been casted round and I like doing it in the form of merry go round whereby you can walk through your farm round. Like if you walk through this farm now you can walk through this way down to that side straight up to this side. So today I'm talking about the pit dimension and how the pits have been constructed. And after you finish your uh, pit, you can do your you do your casting like you can do uh, for the casting now. You can do uh, uh, two inches, three inches, four inches, depending on your financial capacity. All the inches are thicker than concrete. The other is concrete. So for this one now, we use two inches to do the casting. But that of the pit, if it's necessary, you do a minimum of two. 2.5 or 3 because this place is, cut, is carrying the dunks and that dunk has high level of uh, ammonium gas and that ammonia conk ammonia is very corrosive it can destroy anything it can destroy uh, metals even the cages you construct the dunks has the propensity of destroying the cage because it is uh, concentrated it's conk concentrated uh, uh, compound that is NH4 which is ammonium ammonium why you this NH3 is ammonia that ammonia that gives you that shocking smell that each time you go to a poultry house you don't need a soothsayer to tell you that the place you are contain poultry or people are doing farm setup in the aspect of poultry that is why each time you want to build a poultry house it is advisable you do your poultry house out of communities so that you can be able to control the smell if the smell is too much the community people will be disturbing you but especially if it is a town I, when I'm building farm for people, I don't encourage people to do farm in urban settlement. If you want to start up your farm, it is necessary you go to a uh, rural environment or probably go out of the right. where people are staying. So that when you are building your farm or when you are doing your business, nobody will disturb you. So from that now, that is what I'm bringing you down to this place. So should in case you already have your farm in the uh, urban settlement, there is still a hope for you. You can buy a manure dryer. A manure dryer helps to control smells. To an extent that uh, not that it's eradicating the smell, but it's going to bring down the scent because the manure dryer will be sucking the dung and be converting it to organic manure, which you can sell if you in case you want to buy a manure dryer. But today we are not talking about manure dryer, we are talking specifically on the pit. Now the pit, when you've gotten your pit dimension, if it's 1.8, if it's 2.2 meters, if it's 2.1, ensure that it doesn't go beyond 
2.2 is almost at the edge of the cage. So oftentimes you do 2 meters or 2.1, if it is on 96 capacity, you do 1.8 meters. So when you've gotten your pitch, what you do is, before you do the casting work or the general work, you need to level the ground. You slope the ground. If you don't slope it, it is good. But if you slope it, it is better. The reason why you are sloping it, it will give you, it will give the dog easy accessibility. You can make it to slope down to where the pitch is. Now, if we want to do the, if you want to do the uh, leverage, you take your line, line is rope. You put a line, for instance, look at how we did this one. We put a line here, we put a nail here, we tie the, a rope here, we drag it down to that ending, which is where the uh, outlet is going to, to get the level, of which after getting it, we now fill it according to the line. If you watch through this thing, you see that the more you are coming here, the deeper it becomes. You can look from there, let's see from there. Look at how that place is, look at there. From here now, you can see here is very small. But as it's going down, it's, de it's descending. If you go down, let's go down and see how it looks like. As the more you come, the more you descend. The more you come, the more you descend. So let's come to this side. You can see we want to cut this switch now. Mm -hmm. This jammer mm -hmm. floor, what you do it now, so that it will slope down to this side. This is now the pit, final pit oh, here. Yeah, it's now go down to this. It slows yeah. down to that place, to and this place. Down. You can see now, it's flowing down to this place. So we are going to do the German floor to flow it down. But before you do that German floor, you need to take the level and slope it down. You do you use your rama to rama it very well. No, when you finish filling this place with sand, the second thing you do is to wet out the ground. After wetting the ground, the reason of you wetting the place is so that the sand will sediment very well on the ground. Later on, you get your rama and you rama it very well. After rama, you allow it to dry one or two days. When it's when it has really compacted, then you cannot start doing your uh German floor but before then it is nice to do this German floor first which is the walkway after doing the walkway because why you are doing that is because you are going to put uh, wood here wood there to have the format so that you have it very well before you start what, doing the uh German floor that slopes down to this place then for that of your pit control there is need for you to understand the mechanism on this place you have to get a pit whereby the thing comes to this place before it flows down then, if it's flowing, and if you are using something like a manual scraper, the manual scraper, we're going to pass here a little so that the manual scraper can be here. With that manual scraper we are putting here, it's a machine that scrapes the dung from that top plane down to this plane. And that manual dryer has a pulley. That pulley is the thing that has the rope that draws the blade from that side to scrape the manual dryer to this plane. So the, blade, the, manual, the pulley will be putting the pulley here. We are going to be putting it in three places so that those dung can pull down to this place. So this is the mechanism of how manual scraper works on how you uh, you construct your own. Should in case you want us to do this thing for you, we we'll build for any kind of capacity you want. You want in 10,000, 20,000, 5,000, any kind of capacity you want us to build for you, can build for you. We cover the whole country, Nigeria, with our services and we we'll build in several states in Nigeria. So should in case you want us to build for you, respecting of the location, you can. Our number remains 080-3696-5718. If you are not in Nigeria, remember to put our country code plus two three four eight zero thirty six ninety six fifty seven eighteen. Please give us a, a thumbs up if you like our video. If you have any contribution, why not? No man is an island of knowledge. Everybody is learning every day. You can contribute. You can advise. You need a service. You can call us. You can chat us up. We are twenty four hours online. You can drop your message. A responder to respond to you. So, should in case you want us to build for you, we we'll build in any part of the world. You uh, any part of Nigeria want us to. But should in case you want us to go out of Nigeria, please. Pay our flight ticket before we can go. So that is all about uh, poultry generally and poultry setup. We do the A to Z on poultry farm setup. We do the A to Z on your fishery or your pigry or setup of anything. So far, it is farm. That is what we do. Please do where to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share our videos to our loved ones. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much once again for choosing Chris Farm Nigeria. Always know that your satisfaction is our optimal desire. Thank you. And even as we expect your course, do have a blessed day.